Hey guys, this is Sean here, and today I'm going to talk about why IonQ stock price soared. So I brought three reasons. First one is uh, price target raised. The second one is CNBC interview with CEO Peter Chapman. And the last one is institutions coming in. So to start off, uh, yesterday's IonQ stock price soared more than 33%. So yesterday's uh, final price was over 26 bucks. So even though uh, the actual earning was worse than the forecast, so the forecast revenue was 250k and the actual was 233, and the forecasted EPS was minus 0 0.08 compared to the actual EPS minus 0 0.12. Even though the actual numbers were bad, uh, but the CEO Peter Chapman gave us a pretty good guidelines about the future. So the reason one is price target raised by Craig Hollum. And the analyst that raised the price target was actually present at the uh, conference call, which uh, his name was Richard Shannon. Also Benchmark, an uh, investment banking firm named Benchmark also boosted IMQ's target price to $28 from $18. So the potential upside was about 10% of the current price. And uh, also for those who missed the uh, Q3 earnings, the summary for that is that uh, IonQ reported a quarterly earning loss of 12 cents per share, which the actual uh, forecast was 7 cents per share. And then the actual revenue was 233k compared to the forecast of 250k. So the number was bad as mentioned before. But they raised its full year, which is 2021, booking guidance from 50 million to 15.8 million. And also, Peter Chapman said that IonQ delivered a number of significant milestones this quarter, delivering upon our technology roadmap and accelerating the commercialization of our quantum computers. And also for 2022, they are confident that they can continue to build out IonQ's ecosystem and demonstrate their superior scalability and efficiency and solve some useful problems. And the second reason why the IonQ stock price soared is that they, their CEO, uh, Peter Chapman, was actually aired at the CNBC's interview. So for the interview, uh, the content was that China is trying to take over one of the five major technology of the future, which is set by the US government. So those five major technologies were AI, bioeconomy, autonomous systems, quantum computers, and semiconductors. So IonQ's quantum computer are used by Google and Goldman Sachs. And for Goldman Sachs, it is used for financial risk modeling. And Peter Chapman told the foreigners are also very interested as well. And 50% of IonQ traffic is actually from China. So the, uh, the guy from the CNBC was pretty surprised that almost half of the traffic of IonQ quantum uh, system was from China. And Chinese are experimenting various things on IonQ's QC. So even though QC is at its infant stage, its actual size has been decreased from the size of ANIAC, which was very large, to the size of a card. And Peter Chapman also said that finding people to program and to develop software for the quantum computer is the challenge now. Uh, and also for the investment towards QC, 90% of all investments toward QC has been made in the last three years. So there's an increased investments toward QC recently. And currently QC stage is like the classical computer at its 1960s. So we could see we are at the very early stage and 80% of all the investment goes to hardware now. So after hardware is developed, then this money will move to software and, uh, and applications. So early quantum use cases might be in the field of pharmaceutical, healthcare, biotech, climate tech. And when we have better and complete quantum computer, it could be applied to everything we do. So here are some of the quantum computing companies. For startups, Sci Quantum, NEC, IonQ, D-Wave, Cold Quanta, CQC, Terra, Quantum, and Rigetti. 
and also big tech companies are also participating in uh, and competing in quantum industry such as IBM, Microsoft, Intel, Honeywell, Google, and Amazon. And the last reason why the price war uh, is that institutions are coming in. So this uh, data is actually from one of my friends in my Kakao Talk group. His name is Hans. And he gave us an evidence that institutional ownership from November 13th was about 11 million. And on 16th, about 40 million. And on 17th, it was over 34 million. So we could see that institutional ownership increased by more than 3.5 times. So big, uh, big whales such as uh, those in hedge funds and also big institutions like Morgan Stanley and also other institutions are getting interested in quantum computer. And also analysts from Morgan Stanley was, uh, uh, he also participated in the uh, conference call. So there's a lot of growing interest in quantum computer from the institutions. So today we briefly talked about why IMQ stock price soared, and I think this is just the beginning, but please uh, note that this is only for information sharing purposes. So please do your own DD and be responsible for your own investment. So this concludes my presentation here. So I'll see you guys at the next video.